Hello, this is Cynthia Sue Larson with RealityShifters.com talking with you today about quantum consciousness. And I'd like to ask you a question, something to think about. And just imagine for a moment if you can tell what the difference is between mind and brain. These are a couple of words. Often they're used interchangeably. But the wonderful thing about language is it gives us the ability to consider the nature of reality a little bit more deeply. And the reason I'm asking this question today is because it's raised in a book by Ava Hare called Consciousness, and this is bridging the gap between conventional science and the new super science of quantum mechanics. And the idea behind all of the interviews that Ava Hare conducted in this book, Consciousness, is that she wanted to talk with people who were on the front cutting edge, leading edge range of science in terms of consciousness and the exploration of consciousness with the additional attribute that they also had a very strong intuitive sense. <clears throat> and this is so important to Ava because she had had a dark night of the soul in which she experienced, um, actually as she was sleeping, a total transformation of her consciousness where she went to sleep in one state of mind and awakened in another. And the beauty of this kind of experience is that when you have something like that, as Ava did, it's possible to really experientially feel that you are literally one with everything. And if you've ever had that kind of feeling, then you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, then I hope you do experience it, because the, to me, there's nothing more healing, more positive, more inclusive, more rewarding, more fulfilling, more satisfying, more extraordinary than such an experience. So getting back on track with the book and what it's all about, um, Ava wanted to ask scientists in the field, such as William Tiller, Dean Radin, Robert John, Erwin Laszlo, and a whole bunch of other people, um, what is this difference between mind and brain? And that's the nature of this book because when she asks each of these individuals who are doing experiments and are aware of experiments and have theories and hypotheses about what's going on, even though maybe you might say it's impossible for us to study a subject that, that requires the very thing we're studying in order to understand it, um, that's exactly where this book goes. And because it does such a fabulous job of raising questions and getting us to think about such a fascinating subject, I give it my highest highest endorsement. I hope you do take a minute and check it out and hopefully get a copy of it and read it because I think you're really going to enjoy it. And whether or not you get this book, I want you to keep thinking about the nature of mind and the nature of our brain. And what's so interesting about quantum physics is that quantum physics asks us to re-examine all of our assumptions about the nature of reality because things that we thought were true uh, are being thrown into a sharp relief with what we know is true on the quantum scale, such as matter is not all there is. It really is true that when you get down to the very basic, smallest building blocks of matter, there's just a lot of nothingness out there. And even weirder, those very small building blocks of matter are pure energy at their very core, and they actually spend a lot of time in that state of pure energy. So that's amazing right there. Uh, Non-local effects happen all the time on the quantum realm. That means we would expect to see them on the macro scale as well. And additionally, we observe things, and by observing, we change things all the time. Also, we can only predict things in terms of probabilities. So this is what quantum physics teaches us. It re advises all of these assumptions about the physical world. And in order for us to take a new sense of what is going on on the larger scale, we really have to take a look at all of this. And of course, if you've read my book, Reality Shifts, or if you've heard about it, I explore some of this in Reality Shifts as well. And the idea here in my book, Reality Shifts, is that consciousness literally changes the physical world. So. <clears throat> This is a great way to take a look at a couple of these ideas and questions with the book Consciousness by Ava Hare. And of course, reality shifts when consciousness changes the physical world. So this week, this month, today, right now, if you just ask yourself the question, how good can it get 
when I acknowledge that consciousness is at the heart of everything, when you can actually just let go of what you think you are controlling in your life and recognize that there is something in the state of oneness that really wishes the best for all of us. And you can just say, let it be so. How good can it get when you experience that state of wonder and openness? Till next time, this is Cynthia Sue Larson with RealityShifters.com.